on. Instagram just went live. It took about three minutes. No, just kidding. Um, Mm. Hello everyone. In the way. Yes, we'll start in just a second. Yeah. The way is on. 7.59. Oh, one person. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Oh, Jesus. Welcome to Chaplet Mondays. Oh, Bernadette, hello. Six people on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Lenora. Hi, Jordan. Hello again. Tonight. Oh, Tim, you're here. Hello. Home from work soon enough. And Claudia, hello. You're able to join us too. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Chaplet Mondays. Today we're going to do the... Um, hold on a second. The Chaplet of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. There we go. Got a yellow one. Ethan's got an orangish, oh, reddish one. one. Mm -hmm. So these chaplets are built with, with what they call five decades, but they're not decades because they don't have ten beads each, which I thought was interesting. But mm -hmm. that's what the, how they describe them as five they're sections. They're they're um, well, you're right, Ethan. Ethan's talking about this small portion at the beginning, which is a lot like a Marian rosary where we do the beginning opening prayers. Um, so we've got, let's, let's talk about this really quickly. We've got a crucifix and the medal of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You want to show Instagram? So we've got the, I've got a little, this is my mini pocket one, but we have bigger ones too. Is it out of focus? There you go. Good job. There's the sacred heart of Jesus and a little crucifix. Um, and then we've got a bead and three beads and another bead. Can you show Instagram? Can you show Instagram? Okay. And let us know Instagram if the sound is weird because last week I think you could hear the computer sound which was buzzing. Hello, Georgia. Hello, Sharon. Oh, and Georgia joined on Instagram as well. Wait. Um, so the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we hear we hear about that a lot. Um, the devotion comes from the early sixteen or seventeen hundreds, um, so or the I guess the late sixteen hundreds, sixteen seventy um, to be exact. But the um, the cool thing about the Sacred Heart of Jesus is that the our, uh, believers, Catholic believers, used to pray over the wounds of Christ, the five wounds of Christ, which we also meditate on during the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. But they they paid especially close attention to the the heart of Jesus, and it's the wound in the heart, um, the physical wound, you know through his crucifixion, but also the emotional wound of people rejecting him and people um, betraying him, right? His followers who had spent years following him, right? Um, and so that started in the 11th century, but it wasn't until 1670 that a French priest celebrated the first feast of the Sacred Heart. Um, and around the same time, there was a sister named Sister Margaret Mary Aliquay. Alli it's probably French. Um, she started to have visions of Jesus. Um, and he appeared to her quite often. And in December 1673, he allowed her, he invited her to rest her head upon his heart. And so, in effect, he was showing us how much devotion we should have to his very heart. And as she experienced the comfort of his presence, 
Jesus told her of his great love and explained that he had chosen her to make his love and goodness known to all. Um, she continued to to share this image with him, with with people, and um, and reported that Jesus wanted to be honored under the the figure of his heart of flesh. Um, and in 1675, during the octave of the, the Feast of Corpus Christi, she received the vision which came to be known as the Great Apparition and um, the image that we all see now as the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It became very popular after her death in 1690. But the church, we know, is always very careful to approve private apparitions or devotions. They always want to do a lot of investigation and and make sure that it actually is in fact from um, God or the Holy Spirit so the feast was established as an official feast in 1765 so not I mean maybe close to like a hundred years later um, and then it was formally approved by Pope Pius the ninth in 1873 <laughs> So can you put him down in 1873? So that's how long it um, um, it can take for devotions like this to become actually approved by the church, which I think is really cool because it means that the church does her due diligence in checking through these things because it never wants to establish as a devotion that we're all going to pray. He, it, um, they never want to make one, they, or they just want to make sure that it's not incorrect and that it's not going to lead anyone away from God. Does that make sense? So you have to be careful because, Ethan, you could wake up and say, I had a dream and God told me that um, that cats are the only animal that should be a pet, right? No dogs. And Ethan could right. say that God told him that, right? Couldn't you say that? You could say that? Mm -hmm. And if everyone started to believe Ethan, then everyone would get rid of their dogs, right? Yeah. But Ethan's, Ethan's dream was not approved, right? So the church does some investigating. It does... Investigating into the life of, of who had the apparition or the devotion, and then it pray the church together prays about it and determines whether or not it actually does lead God or lead people to God. Um, so there are some promises associated with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and I think that these are really, really cool for this time right now. Um, and don't forget to be putting your intentions into the comments. Um, so that we can pray over those when we start the chaplet. Hello, Miss Elena. Hi, Betty. Hello, Francis. Um, and we have Ashley and Lucy on Instagram. So here are the promises associated with the sacred heart of Jesus. And he says to us, I will give them all the graces necessary for their state of life. So he's going to help us through whatever God calls us to this life. He's going to help us through it. So he called me to be married and to be a mother, right? Yes. So his sacred heart promises to me that he'll give me all the graces that I need to be the best mother I can be, the best wife I can be. Number two, I love this one. I will give peace in their families. So devotion to the sacred heart, he promises us that he will give us peace in our families. Number three, another amazing one. I will console them in all their troubles. Number four, I will be their refuge in life and especially in death. Number five, I will abundantly bless all their undertakings. Number six, sinners shall find in my heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Number seven, tepid souls shall become fervent. That means kind of tired souls or downtrodden or depressed or that they'll become fervent. So they'll become passionate and prayerful. Ooh, and then number eight, fervent souls shall rise speedily to great perfection. So sometimes when we get really excited about something, we can forget people, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to always um, stay. These are, they're bringing in their intentions. Oh. And we'll list those in a second. Number nine, I will bless those places where the image of my sacred heart is exposed and venerated. So if you have an image of the sacred heart of Jesus in your home, God has promised that he will bless your home. Number 10, I will give to priests the power to touch the most hardened hearts. Wow, I think every priest wants to be able to do that. Number 11, persons who propagate this devotion shall have their names eternally written in my heart. Wow, I want my name eternally written in Jesus' heart. Whoa. Number 12, in the excess of the mercy of my heart, I promise that 
my all-powerful love will grant to all those who receive communion on the first Fridays for nine consecutive months the grace of final repentance. They will not die in my displeasure, nor without receiving the sacraments, and my heart will be their secure refuge in that last hour. So those are the 12 promises of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download the prayer sheet for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I had fun with this one. I put the Sacred Heart of Jesus behind the text this time, since instead of trying to squeeze it into some corner, and I thought it fit really nicely, and he looks really cool back there. Yeah, can you see Jesus back there? Mm. And I put his eyes between the words so we could see his eyes. I like that one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the picture up on Instagram of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and find your prayer sheet on hrccr. Dot com and then we will get started and I'll be we'll be going over the intentions okay we'll be going over everyone's intentions as well so again this is what the chaplet looks like we can send you these if you would like one we love making these for y'all all right so we're gonna lift up our intentions now before we start this chaplet Bernadette would like to pray for her granddaughter who is expecting in September so she will be okay during this virus. We're going to pray for Bernadette's granddaughter and also for the baby. Um, and we are lifting her up every day. We are also praying again for um, Elva, Francis' sister, and peace. So we pray for healing over Elva and protection over the whole family. We pray for Tim. And, oh, well, we are praying for you, Tim, but Tim is praying for our peace officers. So we lift them up today, tonight. We lift up um, all those protecting our country, protecting our cities, protecting our communities, the ones that run towards danger when we're running away. And Kara, we are going to pray for Kara tonight. Who's having, she's having terrible vertigo. My dad suffers from vertigo as well, which you remember what that is when... Mm -hmm. um, you um, lose your balance, feel very nauseous, and can feel very queasy. So we pray for healing over Kara. We pray for Jordan. We pray for all of our teens and youth. Um, we pray for all those working in the church. We pray for all of our pastors and priests that they stay strong and that they um, run to Jesus to overcome um, any any temptation to despair or depression that they can work together with their staff and work together with their parishioners to stay connected you have any intentions ethan mm -hmm. how about you jonathan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. david do you have anything you want to pray for oh, oh david has a really bad headache so we're going to pray for healing oh, you want to pray for anybody or anything oh uh, father or Oh, you want to pray? And Johnny Joey. wants to pray for Father Oren and for our, our friend Joey. Anybody? No? Okay. Pray for Grandma and Grandpa? How about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Also so for, for all of your intentions, we lift up. Yes, Jonathan? Also for Ryan. And, and Ryan, his friend Ryan. Yeah, for healing, right? Yeah. That he keeps okay. healing. Okay. So we are going to pray in the name of the Father mm -hmm. and of the Son mm -hmm. and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Did you do the sign of the cross correctly? Or did you just hold your chest? I don't know. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Okay, Grace, welcome. <sighs> so we're going to begin with the Anima Christa, Christi. Okay. And we're going to begin on the crucifix and also where the medal is. Let's pray this together. John, go find your prayer sheet, please, over there. Sure. David, praying together, okay? Um. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Separated from thee, let me never be. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come into thee that i may praise thee with thy saints forever and ever amen on the beads on the outside we'll pray one our father three hail marys and a glory be so you guys want to do the responses 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We're lifting up um, Kara's intention for all those suffering from COVID and other ailments lifting up oh she's lifting up her suffering for them as well one of the beauties of our catholic faith we know we know that if we unite our suffering with christ's suffering that we can um we can help those that are suffering oh sharon we are praying for healing over rick's stomach issues hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, before each big bead, before we meditate on one of these um, mysteries or wounds of Christ, we are going to pray this prayer right in the middle of the sheet. Before each large bead, we say together, Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our heart like yours. And then on the large bead, we'll meditate on this mystery of the sacred heart of Jesus the first mystery being the entry into Jerusalem in which our Savior, meek and humble of heart and riding on a donkey, entered triumphantly into the city of David and his people saying, Hosanna. So this is when they welcomed him into the city, thinking he was going to be a king and save their people. And just a few short days later, what would they do? Yes. And he knew that. That's what's so amazing. Jesus? No, the people wanted Jesus to be the king. So that is the first mystery of the Sacred Heart. And then on the large bead, we pray this prayer on the left side of the prayer sheet. I love you, Lord, who suffered agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, and who today in the Blessed Sacrament is outraged at the impiety and ingratitude of men. Give us your love. Help us to love you more. You who alone are holy. Hold the beads. You who alone are Lord, the Most High, Jesus Christ. And on each of the small beads, we pray this prayer. On the middle of the sheet. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Last one. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Before the large bead, we say together, Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our heart like yours. The second mystery, the agony in the garden of Gethsemane, in which Christ suffered affliction out of love, for sinful and disobedient humanity and asked his disciples to remain, pray, and keep vigil with him. Do you remember Jesus praying with his disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane and something happened to his body there because he was under so much stress? His body sweat blood. He was under so much stress that blood started to come out of all of his pores on his body. That that would take a lot of stress, right? Because he knew exactly what was about to happen. On the large bead, we pray this together. 
You can actually sweat blood, yes, if you're under enough stress, but it's very rare, so it's a, it's showing how um, crazy that is. Okay, on the large bead, let's pray this together. I love you, Lord, who suffered agony in the Garden of Gethsemane and who today in the Blessed Sacrament is outraged at the impiety and ingratitude of men. Give us your love. Help us to love you more. You who alone are holy, you who alone are Lord, the Most High, Jesus Christ. And on the six small beads we say this, Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. You can turn it off. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. And mm -hmm, thank you. And between the beads again, we pray this before the large bead. Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like yours. The third mystery of the sacred heart of Jesus. The road to Emmaus in which Christ accompanied his disciples and interpreted the scriptures for them. Their hearts burned within them and he revealed himself in the breaking of the bread. The interesting part of the road to Emmaus is that this is after Jesus was crucified and he rose and the disciples didn't recognize him. Even though Jesus was walking with them, they didn't recognize him. They were too depressed. They were too disheartened. They were too down. Because Jesus died. Yeah, because Jesus died. And they asked him, don't you even know what just happened? You know, this man who was supposed to be our king, who was going to be our leader, he's going to save us. And he died anyways. And... Um, Jesus just kept explaining the scriptures to him, to them, the Bible, and their hearts were burning, but they didn't recognize him until he got to their house and he broke the bread and all of a sudden they knew who he was and then he disappeared. Yeah, that's a pretty cool story. Wait, is it like they're disappearing on movies where they disappear? Like no, he just, he had to go visit his <laughs> other disciples. Okay, so now on the large bead, we say this together. I love you, Lord, who suffered agony in the Garden of Gethsemane and who today in the Blessed Sacrament is outraged at the impiety and ingratitude of men. Give us your love. Help us to love you more. You who alone are holy. You who alone are Lord, the Most High, Jesus Christ. And six times together we say, Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Good job, Johnny. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. And before the large bead. Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our heart like yours. The fourth mystery of the sacred heart of Jesus is the blessed sacrament. It's our Lord in the Eucharist, the body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord, which is given to humanity through the mystery of the altar, reposed in the tabernacle, and then exposed for Eucharistic adoration, within which God is really, truly, and substantially present. On the large bead, together we say, 
I love you, Lord, who suffered agony in the Garden of Gethsemane and who today in the Blessed Sacrament is outraged at the impiety and ingratitude of men. Give us your love. Help us to love you more, you who alone are holy, you who alone are Lord, the Most High Jesus Christ. And six times together. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. And before the large bead we say, Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our heart like yours. The fifth mystery of the sacred heart of Jesus is the actual image of the sacred heart, which represents Christ's sacred humanity, the interior life of his soul, and his affection of merciful love for humanity. I love you, Lord, who suffered agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, and who today in the Blessed Sacrament is outraged at the impiety and ingratitude of men. Give us your love. Help us to love you more. You who alone are holy. You who alone are Lord, the Most High, Jesus Christ. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. David. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. Lord, I adore your sacred heart. Inflame in our hearts the divine love with which your own is inflamed. The closing prayer of the chaplet is in the middle of the prayer sheet. And we pray that together now. Boys, can you find it on your prayer sheet? Jonathan? David, you found it? Okay. O oh Lord, you give your sacred heart to humanity in the mystery of the altar for the salvation of our souls. May your sacrifice not be made in vain. Hear our prayers, have mercy on us, and forgive our sins. David, we desire to honor you in the blessed sacrament, glorify you in our thoughts, words, and actions, and thank and praise you always. We weep for and detest the impiety and ingratitude of men. Call us back to the heart of your church. I offer you my heart in reparation for sin. Remove from it what is displeasing to you. Dispose it according to your will and inspire it with sentiments like yours. Draw us near to your sacred heart through the immaculate heart of Mary and be our refuge at death that we may come to praise you for all eternity the divine love with which your sacred heart burns for humanity i ask this in the name of the father son and holy spirit amen sacred heart of jesus i place my trust in you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen you did good. Good job, boys. Thank you for joining us for Chaplet Monday, the Chaplet of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This video will be available on YouTube, um, along and the prayer sheet and YouTube videos are available on um, our website, hrccr.com slash chaplets. 
Um, again, if you would like us to send you a chaplet, please just let me know in messages or in the comments, and we will send you one, no problem. Um, and yes, I will. <laughs> you, you can send it, Johnny, if you want. Next week, I'm very excited. Next week, we'll be doing the chaplet for um, Saints Joachim and Saints Saint Anne or Saint Joachim, some um, some of the Middle Eastern uh, um, pronunciation. Um, and these are the parents of Mary. So if they're the parents of Mary, what does that make them for Jesus? Their grandparents. Grandparents. Do you ever think about that? That Jesus has grandma and grandpa? No. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I mean, that's so I never thought about that. yes, everybody does, but nobody really thinks of it because they think of Joseph and Mary, right? Well, God and nothing. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna next week will be the chaplet to Saint Joachim and Saint Anne. And the prayer sheet, I think, is already oh. available. And there's an image of the chaplet on there as well. So if you'd like to make one at home, you can do that. If you'd like to ask for one, we would love to send you one. God bless you all so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, da Jonathan. Thank you, Lenora. Thank you, Tim. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, blessed night.